Professor Virgil Malone told Simon Harris the only viable way to solve its space and patient safety crisis involves the construction of a new building on the west side of Parnell Square. He has asked Harris for urgent assistance in progressing the required decision-making and funding necessary to advance its Parnell Square development plans. We have regrettably reached the point at which further delay in reaching a formal decision on our Parnell Square infrastructure is intolerable and will lead to further adverse outcomes. At this stage, the slow pace of progress is such that urgent leadership at the highest levels of the Department of Health and the HSE is required to minimize further patient safety incidents, he said. The Rotunda's neonatal intensive care unit was previously forced to close due to the outbreak of a multi-drug-resistant organism. On 10 May, Malone said the hospital had been struggling to contain this infection, identified as ESBL producing Klebsiella, for six weeks. He added eight premature babies have been affected to date. One baby which had been infected had died after 25 weeks gestation. The exact cause of death is yet to be determined by the Dublin City Coroner. Three other babies developed an invasive infection with this bacteria. The principal factor in the spread of this infection, he says, is overcrowding. Significant damages. He went on to warn Harris that the potential financial liabilities for the state associated with clinical indemnity scheme payments for damages or dead babies may be very significant, potentially exceeding the cost of our proposed interim development. In 2015, the then Minister for Health and Current Tasha, Leo Varadkar announced that the Rotunda would be relocated to Connolly Hospital in Blanchardstown as part of a six-year health capital program. At the time it was announced, the government noted that the exact timing of the delivery of the programs and projects in the plan will have regard to issues such as planning, and the overall total of funding available each year. Almost four years later, it is the Rotunda's belief that relocation is some 15 years away. In the letter seen by TheJournal.ie, Malone said the Rotunda has had extensive interactions with HSE Estates, HSE Acute Hospital, RCSI Hospitals Group and the National Women and Infants Health Program looking at the steps required to relocate the Rotunda to Connolly. He said these interactions also analyzed the requirement of an interim physical infrastructure improvement on the current Parnell Square campus. These interactions, he says, reinforce the reality that the relocation of the rotunda to Connolly is a minimum of 10 to 15 years away, and likely longer. His determination was made for the following reasons. The new rotunda construction on the Connolly campus will cost an estimated 360 million euros. Based on 2017 pricing, no progress has been achieved with HSE Estates in progressing the appointment of the required design team personnel which once eventually appointed will still require years of work before. The first steps in the construction of the new rotunda can commence on the Connolly campus. Overcrowding While the rotunda is supportive of the move to Connolly, it previously acknowledged last year that it is unrealistic to expect the completion of this relocation in the near future. In the absence of any indication to the contrary, it is likely that it will take at least 10 years to realize the Connolly relocation. Each NICU cot area should have 16 square meters of space but according to Malone, the rotunda could only provide 5 square meters of space for each baby's care. Hicka's report noted that staff in the neonatal unit worked within a very challenging infrastructure. It said that space around cots in open plan areas was very limited and was not in line with current recommendations which poses a risk of spreading infection in the unit. During the inspection, the hospital management team reported to inspectors and documentation showed that there had been an increase in the number of outbreaks of infection in the neonatal unit in 2017. On the day of inspection, an outbreak due to a respiratory viral infection had been declared in the neonatal unit. 
In August 2017, work began on a new four-bed extension to the special care area, followed in January 2018 by a renovation and modernization of the remaining NICU which was completed by December. Despite these refurbishments, ideal incubator and cot spacing could not be achieved in the NICU due to space restrictions. Malone says in the meantime, the rotunda continues to face an intolerable patient safety crisis on its Parnell Square campus. Having analyzed the hospital's current physical infrastructure, the only viable solution that has been proposed in the short to medium term to solve its space and patient safety crisis involves the construction of a new building on the west side of Parnell Square. This will allow the rotunda to decamp the entire NICU from its older buildings, as well as providing dignified, safe care for postpartum mothers consistent with the requirements of the National Maternity Strategy. Malone believes that the rotunda's west wing development is the best solution to patient safety needs while also remaining consistent with its longer-term goal of relocation to the Connolly campus. He said this has been validated by a cost-benefit analysis performed by Ernst & Young. More news